All right, so transmission bolts. Uh, the two on the bottom, very easy. Uh, definitely in plain sight. One right there, one on the other side. Both of them were very easy to loosen. So uh, those are loose. I got the jack in place to hold the transmission pan. All right, and now it is time to get some of the harder guys moving up. There is a transmission fluid uh, shucker is bolted uh, on that one right there. And then there's another one behind, behind the exhaust right there. So there's one there, there's one there, and I think after that we'll get to the top ones. So I'm going to see about these two first, see if I can't get these, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get that one behind the Y-pipe. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so this electrical conduit that I have in my hand right now is on the forward side of the transmission dipstick. But it's home, after all this is done, is actually behind it. So, well, it's been over 90 minutes. And I still don't have this bolt off. I've tried everything I know. I've even gone with an extension on top of an extension on top of an extension to try to... <sighs> Shit, I don't know, I was all the way down there someplace. Way down there. Snaking the extension all the way up to here. I mean, you got transmission cooler lines. You got the transmission itself. You get these ribs, you get the fucking Y-pipe, and the fucking thing is stripping. So, I don't know. Alright, today is Tuesday the 29th, and I've been on this one bolt for at least 48 hours. This is what finally broke it free, it was the Universal with a long 15 millimeter and precariously getting the ratchet to come back up, of course. And that's that. I don't know if that shows you anything or not, but it's coming. It's actually spinning both ways, but then of course it slips off. But if you can see the precarious way, I'll try to. Nah, it's gonna. The whole thing's gonna fall. So hopefully you saw it earlier. This is essentially what I used and about the angle of which I used it. That guy and that. So that's that. <sighs> yeah, I hate vertical video, but I'm kind of stuck here. But this is just a celebra celebration more than anything else. This bolt, the second hardest bolt to get off the whole project. So I thought I would capture this moment. That's a bitch right there. And to give you a clear idea of where we're at, that's where we're at. Um, you motherfucker. There it is, the face of frustration, many hours, so most of them take seconds, this one took hours. Alright, transmission bolts, these two are the bottom, they came out of the bottom, look like regular bolts. The ones out of the sides are bolts on studs. There's two, four, four of those. So that's six total. Six? Oh, great. I only have six. So four, six. Uh, this fat one, little fat one, came out of the back of the block. It looked like it might have been number seven. I don't, I don't know whether it is or not. And this guy was horizontal 
into the top, horizontal, no, vertical, vertically placed, as in up, down, into the top of the block. I don't know what the hell he does either. So, this guy was horizontal into the back of the block, and this guy was vertical into the top passenger side of the block. Uh, still seems to be something going on back there. Some fuel lines. Alright, according to everything I'm reading, and I'm finally going to believe it at this juncture, I am not going to get to those two top bell housing bolts unless I remove the transmission cross member and lower the back of the transmission down uh, to get some sort of angle at the front of the bell housing. So uh, mine looks nothing like this, uh, but I just hit it with uh, PB. So rudely interrupted by a telemarketer. Anyhow, I just hit it with some uh, penetrating blaster, or PB, whatever the hell you call it. And uh, now I'm going to sit and wait. Well, after getting the other side off, two bolts, two nuts, pretty self-explanatory. Surprise, 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 the side has got a bracket on it. And after getting the two nuts off, there's two more nuts hiding behind the bracket. So remember how the bracket goes. It goes nut, bracket, nut, frame. All right, this is the driver's side. Woo-hoo. That's the distance in between. I've been kind of cranking this sucker down. I thought I'd take a picture of it. And this is what this guy's holding. Uh, four things here. And we've got the transfer case. That's about where we're at. We got Mr. Transfer Case. And then we got that fucking thing right there. All right, that's it. Fucking A. So, driver's side. We are on the driver's side right now. And uh, let's move Mr. O2 sensor. Huh? Didn't do much. Uh, driver side transmission uh, these uh, bolts these bolts this is the head of the bolt right here um, and it's going uh, the head is towards the uh, the front of the car and the uh, the nuts were on the back end of the car where that bracket is and if I remember correctly the passenger side was the opposite uh, where the nuts were towards the front of the car and the heads of the bolt were towards the back of the car. But driver's side is what we're looking at now with Mr. Head of the bolt to the front. This is the last one, get ready to come out. And I tried to secure it. Got jack stands on each side and I've got the jack in the middle. So hopefully I can raise or lower at will. Alright, okay. Still not off, but 13 sixteenths. Oh, it actually says 13 sixteenths on the uh, on the head. And then on the breaker bar. Uh, what, are, what are you? That's what I was using to hold the nuts. Back to the engine bay. There is a clippy clip right there. Let's see if I can use the camera to get to see the bolt. There's a bolt. And that's one we're after. Alright, so the clippy clip right there. I'm going to go ahead and use a screwdriver and break that free so I can get in get near that bolt. So I got that one. Alright. Due to some mean people at GM, they made this guy a 13, if you can believe that. The mass majority of them, oh, I can't see shit. Where's the damn fucking thing? There it is. The vast majority of them are 15s, but this little bojo is a 13. So... I'm not really making any headway here. I'm really making a little headway. But uh, yeah, he's a 13. So he's holding on this bracket. So remember how the bracket goes. There we go. Now it looks like I gotta go 
diving underneath somewhere. Because that's my best tool. Yeah. All right, another disappointment. The 13 was just for the bracket. Looks like there's still a 15 on there. Yay. Top of the bell housing to the engine. I don't know how guys go up behind the transmission with the three foot extension. I didn't see a way to do that. I hope there's not another one. <laughs> Check it out. In the mirror, there's another one. Looks like a 13 on the outside of the bracket and a 15 inside. Yay. There's another one. I kind of figured seeing as how I've only done seven so far. It is holding his bracket on. There it is. You see it? Yeah. Let me get around. There we go. There they are. Yeah, baby. Two more. This is fun. I like working on cars. All right, last final note on how this bracket's on because I loosened up the 13. That's how it's on. I don't think I got this finger tight. Well, I had it finger tight. Come on, 13. Come on, 13. You can do it. All right, here we go. I'll drop it behind the transmission like I've been dropping sockets. Okay, here it comes. And he should come right off and get out of our way. And there he is. The last one. The last survivor. I don't know how in the hell I'm ever going to get this thing back together again. Especially torquing a speck. How the fuck am I going to torque that to spec? I'm probably asking for it trying to videotape this momentous occasion but that is number eight and he was easy and I know he's about a seven seven sucked and uh, the one on the passenger side in between those two fins sucked but he was relatively easy and I'm gonna mate him up with his buddy here which was those guys right there now I think at this point the engine is completely separated from the transmission. 